Hey guys, another challenge here. This time it's hard. Uh, code, uh, this one from Coderbyte. Roman uh, uh, number reduction. Again, uh, uh, numeral reduction. So again, uh, conversion. One of kind of classical uh, example. Well, it will give you kind of put you into the challenge how you will convert. Uh, and again, this one is a reduction. So this challenge will will be reducing a string of Roman num numerals. Okay, I'm not sure what exactly it is, but yeah, let's jump in. Get more details. Okay, we have function uh, Roman and numeral reduction. Read string, which will be a string of Roman numbers uh, in a decreasing order. Okay, the number of being using a one for one again it's basic but important uh, v for five x for 10 l for 50 c for 100 d it's unusual kind of d 500 and m for 1000 your program should return as the same number given by string using smaller set of roman numerals for example if string is LLL, so it will be, who knows, 150, one, uh, three, 180, and after that, 200. This is 200. Oh, so it says, but again, I wanted to kind of challenge myself. So your program should return CC because this is, is the shortest way to write to hundred using uh, uh, the Roman numeric system given above. If string is given uh, in its shortest form, just return the same string. So again, we're going through this craziness and again, it should can return L. If we go again, DD, it's 500, 500,000 plus 50, 50,000, 1,000 and 100. So in this case, yeah, we just use uh, highest to lowest. Okay, this is kind of interesting. And again, it looks like it was used with other big companies out there. But again, it's, it doesn't matter because it's every time changeable and such. So yeah, let's come up with some implementation for this one. All right, so many ways to implement. This is more kind of clear way with kind of more details, not be super tricky. So first of all, uh, again, we'll, we'll be combining just in general, uh, we'll, be, we'll disassemble, uh, convert from, uh, again, we'll be converting from uh, Roman numeral to decimal and the other way around. So it will be like uh, uh, two piece of logic, two ways after all. So again, first one will declare uh, our uh, object to store our Roman numerals and their corresponding uh, uh, decimal values. So M200, again, all the, the pieces. After that, we'll just initiate our sum, starting from zero. And after that, we will uh, do our sum uh, to calculate how much. You remember this first struggle is with it, like I tried to calculate when they provided. This is 200. So again, uh, we will do the split for, uh, for, uh, into array of characters. So we'll got uh, doing this, we'll got each character. For, so for each of these characters, uh, we will uh, basically execute uh, the function. So we'll add decimal value current uh, to sum. Yeah. So in this case, just again, just coming from kind of enterprise or applicable coding, there is there is no verification. We kind of rely that it's truly uh, 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 Roman numerals text here. So in real world, again, probably you got it. We most probably will verify or regex or, or precisely that it's no other like A, B, C, X, Y, Z weird uh, characters. Uh, again, just uh, sidetrack here. But yeah, let's stay on our piece. So again, in this case, we will get the sum. So, so we're converting from our uh, Roman numerals uh, to, uh, to decimal. Uh, 
uh, values. Uh, so after that, we again we will uh, starting forming our output. So this time around, whatever number we got, let's say 200, we will transform kind of with rather more classical, uh, 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 precise way to do so. So from this perspective, uh, we uh, we doing a similar approach. So we will get all uh, entries from our object. Uh, 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 ro uh, Roman uh, numerals for each we will calculate how many times uh, the current uh, Roman uh, numbers can be used in present remaining sum. So and here's we do uh, use uh, uh, again a floor uh, from math method uh, functions yeah. So in this case we got sum and divide by again our value one again. So from this perspective we will get how many numbers here. So after that we'll subtract the used portion of sum. So again uh, a number will multiply uh, uh, the values from remaining sum. So, uh, so we got this one. So we'll get subtraction to pay attention here. Again, num multiply as a, as a value. And after that, we'll uh, append the current uh, Roman uh, numeral to the output string, repeated num times. So again, output, so we'll keep adding up and we'll uh, repeat, uh, we'll use this function uh, with num. So we'll return the reduced numeral uh, sorted uh, uh, into our output string and successfully return. So yeah, let's run code. It's it's just L, yeah, and run test. I believe it's the same L and MC. Yeah, looks like correct. So yeah, there is enough of details here. So I would say it's good to, with submission. Let me pause here for a sec. All right. So yeah, uh, we got te te 10 points for this. Interesting. So for this one, we said under 10 minutes or something. In 10 minutes, so we got 10 points. I don't know. So it looks like you don't calculate time and it's okay with me. Uh, so yeah. So for that matter, again, we do have the whole uh, code and comments. It's usually in description below if you want to check it. Uh, please consider it subscribe just to support uh, uh, this content. And again, more shareability for other folks and for yourself in the future you. So again, let me know if you'd like to see other challenges assessment from other platform languages. Again, thank you and see you next one.